Hello. These are all coming right round my feet. Here comes another one. And the other one's over there. There. And there's lots over there. You can see them on the tree. On the tree at the back. come right up to my feet bless them i hope you like squirrels because you're getting a lot of squirrels this morning he seems to be the dominant one on the top there he's getting all the nuts hello right down by my feet hello Well, we've had quite a lot of squirrel. Huh? We ought to stop there. But thank you for watching, liking, sharing, ringing a bell. Special thank you for all those who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, you're going to. You're going to make an old man very happy. Thank you also for the lovely comments I've had of later. There. Hello. I'm fascinated by these. They're so friendly. Well, how lovely. Those, I've, I've spent a lot of time with squirrels. I do hope you like squirrels. I know they're called tree rats and they're called vermin and all the rest of it. But to me, they're little cuties, proper little cuties. Oh, somebody, somebody is on the wacky backy. A, a rather sweet smell. I know it so well from the days when I was in schools and had to use my nose to find out which individual had been using it. So I remember many years ago when we went to Birmingham, my wife said, what's that sweet smell? I went, ooh, ooh, that's wacky backy. And it's, uh, to me, it doesn't smell horrible. But I remember once I was at a concert and I got right down the front and everybody was on the wacky backy and uh, I, I was breathing this stuff. I thought, no, thank you. So I got out of it. I, I waited to see the band and then, um, well, then it all happened. It was interesting, really, because they say every year, they say, uh, oh, um, we will not tolerate drugs in this park. 
And of course they do a search of bags and stuff. But I do know that the girls put it down their bra. They don't they don't check that, funnily enough. And so therefore, there's no way the girls take it in for the boys. There's no way they can get caught. You know, the, the, what people don't want to be done for assault, do they? So consequently, uh, it gets taken in. And every year, I've seen a guy chatting with a copper, take a, a smoking a spliff, and the copper's chatting away with him like nobody's business. And yet they say uh, on, on all the lamp pamphlets, oh, we will not tolerate drugs. And I thought, well, of course you won't. But uh, given that personal use, I can't think a copper would waste his time these days. Don't get me wrong, I'm not endorsing it. I, I'm not interested in doing it. But at the end of the day, that's how it's working these days. Look at this. Now that is a picture, isn't it? Don't you think? I bet you've had enough of squirrels. We won't do any more squirrels today. That's lovely. It is so nice, isn't it? I don't think it's had a lot of frost either, has it? I don't know what you think. The wind has probably blown the leaves down. Here's another one. This is not uh, the same sort. There's a screw. And here's the lake. Oh my word. Yeah, somebody's pointed out a rat. Let's film the rat. This is a rat. <laughs> Wildlife. <laughs> Yeah, ratty. <laughs> yeah, can you see the rat? Yeah, we're seeing all the wildlife today. <laughs> it's a bit warmer today. Yeah. Good. <laughs> In some places. Yeah, it's nice here. That's ratty. He's not really bothered, he's lost the end of his tail. He's a big lad, isn't he, look. Ah, oh, he's seen me. I don't think the eyesight can be very good. I don't know what he's doing. See, I told you 